Hello, I'm Mark Shinesk, Senior Application Engineer with Silent Design Solutions. And in this video, we'll be presenting part three of using the Autodesk connector for ArcGIS Online. And we're going to go ahead and create pipe network objects from our ArcGIS Online data. This particular drawing is a blank drawing. They do have the dialog box open showing you that I have set and preloaded my coordinate system. I'll be dealing with a area in the southwest Dallas, so I have set my appropriate coordinates. Uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and connect to a layer I already have on my ArcGIS online content. I'll click the connector button. Again, we get our familiar map that opens up that lets us choose an area. Um, I could choose by polygon or the entire map. So if I choose my polygon area and go to my content, uh, you can see I do have a pipe network test uh, area set up here. Uh, this particular uh, data set consists of, of two layers, one called pipe, one called structure, named obvious that the pipe is going to come in as gravity pipe data, and the structure is going to come in as gravity pipe structure data. Um, I'll go ahead and add those to my design project. This time, uh, unlike uh, the last one, I get a, uh, a schema mapping where I'm going to map the pro uh, source properties, uh, the attributes that are in the actual layers that I'm bringing in from ArcGIS Online to the standard civil properties. Okay, and if I don't have any property data, I have some columns here for source values and source units. So uh, let's say my 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 uh, particular pipe layer did not have a inner pipe diameter uh, source. I, there's no attribute in there that defines the 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 pipe diameter. Well, then I could tell Civil 3D to just apply a default value of 12 inch. Um, I do have one here, so I'm going to go ahead under source property name and choose the inside diameter. So it's going to read that inside diameter attribute from the data layer I'm bringing in and apply it to that civil 3D inner pipe diameter uh, um, setting in my pipe network. Um, in this case, it is gravity sewer, so I'll say, hey, let's do 8 inch uh, if, if it can't find any. Um, inner pipe width, wall thickness, uh, all these, um, I can allow the uh, the pipe network catalog and parts list to define these if, if I don't have those properties. I do have some inverts here, so I'll choose uh, start invert and an invert. Uh, so I've in included those properties, part family name, part size ID. I'll leave those alone. Uh, the same for structures. Structure is the same thing. If I don't have any data, it's going to choose a 48-inch cylindrical structure. Uh, either a junction structure or an inlet outlet uh, structure. Uh, again, uh, I can choose structure height and inches, structure benching method, sump depth. Uh, here I don't want any sump, so I'm going to type in 0, 0.00 on my sump, um, and then uh, those will let those fill in as they go. Once that's done, I'm going to click OK, and it's going to read that ArcGIS data online. And then you can see that it says, okay, these are defined with some, some default values because the source property name could not be found. So I will get some errors in here uh, as it goes. Uh, it takes a few minutes to create everything, uh, but once it's in there, I will say, okay, double click to zoom in. And there you can see I have my pipe network in Civil 3D. Uh, again, it is using, if I choose that, you can see there is my start invert elevation. There's my end invert elevation. And it used that 8-inch uh, diameter or width for my structure. And that's bringing in uh, pipe network data from ArcGIS online into Civil 3D using the Autodesk connector. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and email me at mshinesk at silo-ds.com. Please link to, view, and subscribe to our blog at www.siler-ds.com forward slash blog for more news, tips, tricks, and information on Civil 3D and Revit and other Autodesk products. And thank you. I hope you found this recording valuable, and I hope you have a 